Good morning everyone, I'm Janet Musnita Guba, a teacher 3 of Palawan Integrated School. Welcome to the second day of our district in-service training. And I'm your learning facilitator for this session on uh, action research writing. This session leads us to understand a research topic on crafting good research questions and grasping the nature of intervention. Actually, these two topics are uh, very important, equally important with uh, the other topics because these are the second and third parts of your action research proposal after writing the context and rationale. But before we continue our journey to the enlightenment of our minds on action research writing, let me share you words of wisdom quoted from Thomas Berger. He said that the art and science of asking questions is the source of all knowledge. I'm really wondering right now how many of you have the same convictions as Thomas Berger's. But well, for me, I agree with what he firmly believed in. Because when you have one logical question in your mind, and when you do something for it, that results to knowledge acquisition. So you are now ready to craft good research questions and grasp the nature of intervention. Let us take a glimpse of, the, of what really an action research is. You know it very well that an action research is being conducted only by teacher and master teacher, while the, uh, the applied or basic research is being conducted by school heads, head teachers, principals. But their definition is almost the same. An action research is a systematic, reflective inquiry to improve educational practices or resolve problems in any operating unit, example, school, classroom, office. It is systematic because it follows a logical procedure from gathering data to analyzing and interpreting the data down to the formulation of research findings. It is also essentially a reflective inquiry because it helps the researcher to develop uh, the skill of reflection, asking why things are so, posing questions, and formulating research questions. I have here three examples of action research titles. You can uh, easily determine what is an action research based solely on the title. The first example here is using self-paced modular instruction as a basis for ICT mode of delivery. The uh, action research title has two variables, the independent and the dependent variable. The independent variable is the strategy, the innovation or the intervention that uh, the researcher will apply to the problem. And of course, the dependent variable is the problem or the issue to be resolved. The second example, improving Kalinga learners' academic performance through contextualized concepts in Araling Panlipunan 10. Of course, the independent variable is always the intervention. And the intervention here is the, research, the researcher context, contextualize the concepts. And the dependent variable is improving Kalinga learners' academic performance. Another action research title is Think High Strategy and Meta Comprehension Skills in Reading of Grade 10 Students of Jones Rural School. So the independent variable here is obviously it is a strategy because uh, it is entitled Think High Strategy. And the dependent variable is the meta comprehension skills in reading of grade 10 students of Jones Rural School. That is the problem of the researcher. But before we go further, I would like to remind everyone of the terminal objective of this session. So at the end of this session, you will be able to identify the problem which will be addressed by you, of course, in terms of investigating or testing an idea and the limitation, innovation, or strategy of the proposed intervention. 
And for you to be able to achieve this terminal objective, here are the enabling objectives. So basically, you must learn how to critically analyze the key elements of the research questions, assess, evaluate, and annotate examples of research questions and intervention. So when you do the annotation, you give your explanatory or critical notes on the examples of research questions and intervention. Another is to write research questions. So you will be writing research questions, exemplifying the key elements of good research questions as learned from this session. And the last objective, you must learn how to propose a detailed novel intervention. Your output here for this session shall be written in uh, an A4 size band paper to be submitted to your school head. And your school head will be the one to submit your output to the proponent of this district in service training. I have here an image. What can you see in the picture? What is all about the picture? Can you tell something about the picture? Perhaps some of you will answer, uh, it is a question mark and it symbolizes a problem that needs a solution. And some of you perhaps will answer, the team doesn't know how to carry out the task. That's why they have a problem. So a question mark symbolizes indeed a problem that needs a solution. How about this image class? Can you see a question mark? Yes, it is a question mark, oh, class, sorry. A question mark that is slowly or gradually forming into a bulb. And a bulb gives off light and it symbolizes enlightenment. So whenever you have a question in your mind, and when you do something for it, eventually you will have the solution to that problem. So when you combine these two images, you will uh, come up with an idea that research questions are important. They are fundamentally important because they are the focus of your study. Good research questions are uh, intended to guide you into your aim, the aim of your study. So, crafting the research question. This activity calls for your knowledge on steps in developing a research question as well as the characteristic of a good research question. So I will give you two minutes to finish this activity. On the first column, you will write your knowledge on steps in developing a research question. And on the second column, the characteristics of a good research question. So time is up, two minutes is over. So what are the steps in developing research questions? The first step, of course, is you have to choose an interesting general topic. So being a researcher, you should choose a broad topic which uh, you want to know more about it. The second uh, step in developing a research question is you have to do some preliminary research on your general topic. You have to do a few quick research on current journals and periodicals so that you will be able to know uh, what is done in that uh, study which is parallel with your action research action research and of course to narrow your focus the third step is to consider your audience would that particular audience be interested in your in in your uh, questions in your research questions 
And the fourth step is to start asking questions. You have to ask questions, open-ended questions as, as how and why of your uh, research. And the first and the last step, I should say, is to evaluate your questions. So don't forget to evaluate your questions. Uh, is the question clear? Is the question focused? Okay, or is the question complex? So putting it in a cycle, the first step in developing a research question is to choose an interesting general topic. Do some preliminary research. Afterwards, you have to consider your audience. And then you have to start asking questions. And the last one, don't forget, evaluate your questions. So with that steps in uh, crafting your res good research questions, you are able to narrow down the topic. Then eventually you will be able to think of questions. And lastly, you will come up with a focus question for your study. And how about the characteristics of a good research question? There are five characteristics of a good research question. The first one is clarity. So the researcher or the, the, re, the research question must be clear. Okay. You have to clearly state what you really want to do. Another is conciseness. So the question, the research question must not be too broad. Or nor to narrow. So if the if the research question is too broad, you might find it hard to answer that research question through your data. However, if it is too narrow, you might find it uh, you might find that the data that you have already gathered are or some of your data are useless. The third characteristic is consistency. So you have to be, uh, your research question must be consistent or it is aligned with the aim of your study. Another is measurable. So your research questions must be measurable in terms of uh, the timeline within a specific timeline. Okay, that's why an action research is uh, conducted for six months. The last uh, characteristic of a good research question is complex. Complex in a sense that you can, uh, it allows you to, to it allows you to, it, it allows you to analyze data, to interpret data, and to formulate uh, research findings. Okay, so those are the characteristics of a good research question. Clarity, conciseness, consistency. It is measurable and it is complex. Remember that the research question serves two purposes. The first one, it determines where and what kind of research the researcher will be looking for. So where and what kind of research the researcher will be looking for. So it is a type of research that addresses problem. Say for instance, on comprehension, on the reading skill of the, of the respondents. Another is it identifies the specific objectives of the study or paper research will address. So, does your action research address a problem on comprehension? Okay, so those are the things that you have to remember about your research questions, about the two purposes of your research questions. So to sum it up, your research question must be directed towards the attainment of your research aim or the, the goal of your study. So here are the examples of research questions. I did not give only one, 
example of uh, research questions or one uh, one uh, study one action research that contains research question but i gave three examples so let's read this research proposal aims to, term, to determine the effect of using the self-paced modular instruction to the academic performance of grade 9 students of Cagayan National High School who specialize in computer hardware servicing. Specifically, it aims to answer the following questions. So what are the grades of the students during the second quarter in computer hardware servicing when self-paced modular instruction is not yet implemented. So the, that's the first question. The second question, what are the grades of the students in computer hardware servicing for the third quarter when self-paced modular instruction was already introduced? So the first and second uh, questions before the implementation and after the implementation of your intervention, of the intervention. Then the third question asks, is there a significant difference on the grades before and after the implementation of self-paced modular instruction? And the last one, what is the effect size or magnitude of the difference of self-paced modular instruction to improve the student's academic achievement? So these research questions will focus the researcher on the aim of the action research. So they are fundamentally important when you conduct a research. Another example, you have, the, you have here the introductory phrase. So to carry out this action research, these questions will serve as the ultimate guide. So this is the introductory phrase. Actually, there are a lot of suggested phrase uh, given by Morley in 2014. Uh, if you would like to read, just uh, research. Okay, just do the researching. So what is the level of performance of the Kalinga respondents before the implementation of the intervention? So before before the implementation of the intervention. Another, what is the level of performance of the Kalinga respondents after the implementation of the intervention? So after. In number three, will the integration of contextualized concepts into the school curriculum improve the Kalinga learners' academic performance in Araling Panlipunan 10 and make it statistically similar at 0.05 significance level with their non-Kalinga classmates. So, if you notice, the first question, it says here, before the implementation of the intervention. So, that's the focus of the question. The second question focuses on after the implementation of the intervention. And the third one, Will the integration of contextualized concepts into the school curriculum improve the Kalinga learner's academic performance? So, he, there are only three questions here given by the, by the researcher and they are the ones that will guide the researcher to the aim of the action research. Another example, this research aims to improve reading comprehension and metacognition or metacomprehension skills of grade 10 students of Jones National High School as a result of Think High strategy, which consists of teacher modeling, coach practice, the teacher think aloud practice, and students practice of the six metacognition activities, namely predicting, making connections, visualizing, inferring, questioning, and summarizing. Specifically, it seeks to answer the following questions. So you have, you have here again the introductory phrase. Specific, specifically, it seeks to answer the, the following questions or the introductory sentence. 
to introduce, of course, your research questions. And here are the, the research questions. What is the mean, um, mean pre-test score of grade 10 courageous, that's the experimental group, and grade 10 diligent, the control group, in English reading comprehension before using the think high strategy? So take note again of the word before, before the, implement, before the implementation of the think high strategy. So the, the researcher will conduct a test okay, to determine the, the score of the grade 10 courageous and grade 10 diligent in terms of their reading comprehension skills. Okay, before using the strategy, think high strategy. The second, of course, is after using the think high strategy. What is the mean practice score of grade 10 courageous and grade 10 diligent in English reading comprehension after using the think high strategy? So after uh, the researcher had gathered the, the data after the implementation of the, the strategy, it is, now, it is now time to analyze the data. So there will be an answer for this question. Is there a significant difference in the mean pre-test score and mean post-test score of both groups when think high strategy is applied? Another, is there a significant difference between the mean pre-test score and mean post-test uh, score of each of the groups when think high strategy is applied? And then what is the effect size of the think high strategy on the respondents' meta-comprehension skills in reading? And the last one, how aware are students of the reading strategies they used before, during, and after reading? So those are examples of good researchable questions. So you are now ready to grasp the nature of your intervention. What particular solution will solve the problem? That's your intervention, that's your strategy, or your innovation. So here are the elements, okay? When you write your intervention in your action research proposal, these are the elements okay, that must be included. The first one, the rationale, extent and limitation of the intervention, innovation or strategy, and they must be explained in detail. Another is its plausibility or the possibility to address the problem or issue and, and it is given support. So you have to give the rationale, you know, why did you choose that intervention, innovation, or strategy? Another is the extent and limitation of the intervention. Okay, Does it limit only on the comprehension skills of the grade 10 students? Okay, Another is the title or name of the intervention should be mentioned. So it must be, uh, it has, it must have the sense of novelty. So the title of your intervention is uh, originally uh, crafted by you. There should be a detailed discussion also on the what of the intervention. Okay, what it's all about. You have to explain in detail how this, the, the procedure of how you're going to apply the intervention. When, okay, of course, uh, that uh, pertains to the time. The where of the in, the intervention and the who. So these are your participants. Another, you have to include the include some statements that will discuss the plausibility or possibility of the intervention on how it can or may or it may address the problem. Will it likely solve the problem or not? Another is if there are related literatures or related studies that would support the intervention, you have to place it in a brief paragraph. That's why you conduct, you should conduct rather, you should conduct 
um, you should conduct uh, research if there are related literatures or related studies that is or that are similar with your action research. So here are the questions that you have to answer when you write your intervention. What relevant information or data do you need to find the effectiveness of the proposed intervention, strategy, or innovation? So the relevant information, the scores in pre-test and post-test, so those are the relevant information and data. Another is, what variables will be involved in your investigation? Is it only the meta-comprehension skills of the students? And another question, how will you know if the proposed intervention, innovation, or strategy conveys the desired outcome, change, or improvement? So this talks about the possibility or likelihood of the intervention to address the issue or problem of your study. To sum it up, your intervention, innovation, or strategy to be proposed in your action research proposal must be original. No, in such that the intervention presents a unique feature to address problem. So there is a sense of novelty. So it is originally yours. Okay? It is uh, conceptualized by you as the researcher. The second uh, one, the intervention is timely. So this is the most appropriate one to address the, the existing problem. Okay, the third one, the intervention, innovation, or strategy is explained in detail. So you have to include the what, the who, the when, and the how of the intervention. And the possibility to address the problem or issue is given support. So you have to give data that will support okay, your argument that your proposed intervention will likely solve the problem in your study. So here are examples of proposed intervention, innovation, or strategy. Again, I did not only include one example of the proposed intervention for you to study. I gave uh, three examples at the most. So let's just read this proposed intervention. This action research aims to help grade nine students who are enrolled in computer hardware hardware servicing, most especially those who are involved in co-curricular activities to improve their grades this third grading period through the use of self-paced modular instruction. It will also prove the effectiveness of the said mode of instruction, particularly in the core competency. Installation of equipment, devices, and systems of computer hardware servicing specialization. Further, the results of this study will be utilized to determine if self-paced modular instruction is recommended for use in teaching ICT subjects. How? Okay, so it is indicated here the how of the intervention. How will this self-paced modular instruction be adapted in the classroom? So the respondents of this study are the students whose schedule in computer hardware servicing is at 9 to 11 every Tuesday and Thursday for school year 2015 to 2016. It was observed during the second quarter that most of them were excused from their class because of their involvement in the various co-curricular activities that are in conflict with their computer hardware servicing class. To give solution to this problem, the proponent will employ a flexible, flexible delivery of instruction. So this is now already the the intervention, self-paced modular instruction this third quarter. This will hopefully replace the traditional lecture method with a learner-centered environment. The students joining in the co-curricular activities are excused from their CHS class, but should find time to attend to the class schedule when it is convenient for them. The students will follow a guided learning package design, a test-based design, using the TLE ICT CHS grade 9 learners material and videos to replace the face-to-face -face class interaction. The classroom as the learning center consists of areas, namely practical work area, 
learning resource area, teacher's resource area, institutional assessment area, computer station area, contextual learning area, and tool area. Once the student has completed the theoretical portion in the learning resource area, he will move to the practical work area for hands-on application until he masters the concepts. After this, he will schedule himself for an institutional assessment where he will be asked to do written tests or graded tests, performance tests, that is the performance test, and interviews which will be used as basis for scoring and grading. A quarterly examination will also be given as a summative assessment to all concepts and tasks included in the learning package. The students will be monitored using the following. Activity matrix, achievement chart, progress chart. So this part explains the procedure of how did the researcher apply the intervention. So here are another example. This is the example two. And another example is the example three. Okay, let us study this second example. With the paramount objective of enhancing the academic performance of the Kalinga learners to be at par with their classmates in Araling Panlipunan 10 at San Mariano National High School. Okay, so the where is present, San Mariano National High School, who the students of Araling Panlipunan 10. This proposed action research will be implemented by contextualizing several indigenous concepts that are related to the lessons in the first grading period of the said subject. As observed that the Kalinga learners were very shy and passive in their classes, integrating the concepts will test whether this will help them become more active participants during the learning activities. How will this be carried out? So the how of the intervention is now included. The researcher look at the curriculum guide of Araling Panlipunan 10 under the K-12 program and determined that these are allied to various Kalinga concepts. These indigenous concepts will then be used as part of the motivation strategy in every lesson in her class. To illustrate this, the following are the lessons and their corresponding indigenous concepts. Under the Aralin 2 entitled Ang Kakapusan, a discussion will center on the resourcefulness of the Kalingas in looking for alternative foods in times of food scarcity. So you can notice here that the researcher contextualized her intervention to fit the situation and the, the situation of the, the students. They would usually go to the river to fish through the sahet or to the far west to hunt wild animals by using their bilatek or betang. Near the rivers, they may also opt to dig for root crops like the ilos, puga, and aned and boil this, this for food. Another example of a proposed intervention, the goal of all readers should be to understand what they read according to Tilly and that was conducted in 2004. Research shows good readers are actively involved with the text and they are aware of the processes they use to understand what they read. Teachers can help improve student comprehension through instruction of reading strategies. The objective of the study is to improve comprehension. So you can notice that in this part, the researcher included the the purpose, the aim of the, of the intervention. It is to improve comprehension and metacognition or metacomprehension skills and reading of grade 10 students of Jones National School of, as a result of the Think High strategy. The Think High strategy consists of think aloud process, modeling, coach practice, and metacognition activities, namely predicting, making connections, visualizing, inferring, questioning, and summarizing. The metacognition activities in this strat strategy are shown by research to improve reading comprehension. The Think High strategy is composed of the following activities. So you can notice 
in this part that the researcher included the how of the intervention. How did he apply the intervention to solve the problem? So the Think High strategy will be used by the teacher researcher to improve reading comprehension and metacognition or metacomprehension skills of grade 10 students, particularly of the experimental group, grade 10 courageous class of, of uh, Kabarugis National School of Arts and Trades for the school year 2016-2017 by modeling using coach practice, employing the Think Aloud process, group practice, so that's all about the Think High strategy, you know? To sum it up, programs and activities to be employed in order to address the problem or gap should uh, provide the detailed description. And it is pre preferably teacher-made. It should contain rationale or explanation. Okay, illustrates the manner or procedure by which the intervention is to be employed or used. And if it is adapted, it should be contextualized. And the last thing, of course, you should remember, it should be novel. So here is uh, here are examples of good research questions, and it is concise. It is brief. What is the performance of the respondents before the implementation of? So you have to place here your proposed intervention. What is the performance of the respondents after the implementation of the intervention? Is there a significant difference between the performance of the respondents before and after the implementation of the intervention? And what is the effect size of the intervention? Okay, so this is now the application part of our session. So referring to your proposed topic, try to write your research questions. To guide you with your writing, it would be good to remind yourself of the aim of your proposed study. Use the form below as a scaffolding to clearly articulate or express your research questions. So identify the key issues that you want to find out and you have to write them in question form. So write the aim of your study. Identify the key issues that you want to find out and write them in question form. So here are some suggested uh, phrases by Morley in 2014. If you think that there is more appropriate phrase to introduce your research question, then feel free to use it. So here are some suggested phrases by Morley. The, the central question in this research proposal asks how this research seeks to address the following questions. So introductory phrase talaga sila. In particular, this research proposal will examine six main research questions. Then you write down uh, the six research questions. The hypothesis that will be tested is that another, the key research question of this study was whether or not this study aimed to address the following research questions. Another question is whether Okay, so those are introductory phrases to introduce your research questions. But remember, write your research questions with a stem, meaning you have to write, you have to include the interrogatives or the words that you use when you ask question, and they must be complete interrogative sentence. Before I end this session, May I ask this question that was once asked by Albert Einstein? If we knew what it was we were doing, it would not be called research, would it? And I hope by now you can say, I love research. Thank you. Thank you for listening. This has been Janet M. Taguba, a teacher three, and your learning facilitator for this session.